Hey, what's going on guys? GBU back here, and today in this video, I'm doing a video that, I mean, it wasn't necessarily requested, I just uh, happened to be looking through uh, my YouTube channel, looking through some comments and stuff, and I saw this. So, uh, Mr. Glass here commented, uh, he said the, that these are super cool cars, this is my JDM video, by the way. He said that those are cool cars, but he said he's not, he's not that good at installing mods. So you know what? I'm going to make a video, because uh, I figure that's probably something I should probably go over before... Uh, before uh, I actually went and uh, just assumed everybody could install mods. So you know what? I'm going to do that now. So thank you, Mr. Glass, for the video idea. So first thing you're going to want to do is know where the mods folder is in BeamNG. So, I mean, you got the game and everything. Normally, I mean, you just access that through Steam. I got it right here. But um, the uh, folder should be... It's not in downloads. Uh, it's in... Um, Documents. So you go into your Documents tab in the Files program. You go down to BeamNG Drive, and then you go to. It should say Moved Here, or it could be this Mods one. If it's empty, then it's not that one. So go through Moved Here, it's Moved Here again, Moved Here, and then you should find this Mods folder. That that's. I mean, mine's pretty full because I have a whole ton of mods, but. Uh, you should find a mods folder if you've installed mods already. It should it'll look like this, or it'll look almost completely empty. I mean, there'll be a couple things in there like this, or like this will be in there too. Um, but I'm going to show you how to install mods. So what I did is I actually pinned it to the quick access, so you can just click it, and I'm pretty sure you can do pin to quick access right there. Just click pin to quick access, and it's always right there. It will not move. So you can really just go to downloads, take your mod, and then just drag and drop it right into mods. So next I'm going to show you uh, how to download the mod. So I'm going to open up uh, BeamNG Drive Mods, I guess. Uh, this is a website that I go to sometimes because, I mean, there's some pretty good mods on here. Ooh. All right. Well, perfect. I found a nice Bugatti Veyron mod. So this is BeamNG Drive Mods. Um, this is just one of the several websites that you can get BeamNG mods from. This is where I go a lot, though. They always got a whole ton of stuff. So I'm trying to download this Bugatti Veyron. What do you do? Um, there should be a, an orange link right there. Click that. And then you got two options. You can do download BeamNG Bugatti Veyron 16.4 Super Sport 2010 blah, blah, blah. Don't click that one. Click the one that says modsup.com. That's, that's the one I always click and it always works. So, I mean, you might get an advertisement here, but you can just, you can always just close these after a couple seconds. Then you just hit free download and wait five seconds. Create download link and it'll download right to uh, the download bar at the bottom of the screen. Oh, I just had this weird feeling for a sec, so I looked over at OBS and I thought I thought I wasn't recording for a second. I looked over fully expecting it to see that I wasn't recording, but no, I recording. All right, just minimize that because you're not going to need that. You might get one of these just close that out um, and you're going to want to go into uh, the files again and you should see that it downloaded right to the downloads tab you just click that and drag and drop it to mods which uh, you probably should have pinned earlier just drag and drop it and now it's in the game so as soon as I open Steam I'm going to play BeamNG launch game and uh, as soon as I get in this mod should be there I'm pretty picky when it comes to mods now, now that I found all the cool ones with like the cool interiors and all that. I'm kind of picky when it comes to mods, so I mean if it's something that I, I test it out right away. If it's something that I don't really like that much, I'm gonna, I, I normally delete it right away. So I'm just going to go to West Coast USA, because why not? This is actually part of one of my mods. It's an AE86 mod that I found. It's actually featured in the JDM video I was just talking about. It's a pretty awesome mod, too, and it adds these cool little slides uh, on the loading screen. All right, almost done loading. I literally just saw, like, five minutes before I started this video, I literally just saw that comment that said, too bad I'm not that good at downloading mods. So you know what? I'm making this. This is what I always do, and it always works. I mean, sometimes you'll have an error with a mod, and it'll stop working for some reason. Then you just got to delete it and try and re-download it. All right, so uh, go into vehicles, and it should be in here. I mean, it's kind of like a just got to kind of search 
for it. Oh, I got a new JDM mod, by the way, the Honda NSXR. All right, where is that Bugatti? It's somewhere around here. Oh, I could actually just make sure to double check that. Okay, yep, it did download. Um, all right. Maybe it should be in here. Oh, there it is, Bugatti Veyron Supersport. You just gotta kind of search for it, and then you'll, you're bound to find it. This thing is actually pretty cool. I used to not like the Bugatti Veyron just because I just feel like it didn't look like a good car. It looked kind of weird, but no, I, I, I'm coming around to it. it looks kind of nice. Ugh. Not the greatest. I mean, the interior looks great. It's just, I mean, this camera position is not ideal. Cool though, it looks like it's got active. Oh, it does have active air. Oh, okay. Sorry, I had the volume way too loud on the uh, desktop audio. So, uh, this is the mod that I just downloaded. If you didn't hear what I was saying, this is the mod I just downloaded. It's the Bugatti Veyron. I did end up finding it. it's got active arrow, which is pretty dang cool. I like that a lot. Now, the only thing I don't really like about this mod so far from just what I'm seeing is when I go into the inside view, it looks like that. Now, I mean, the interior looks awesome. Like, this is a really cool interior. And I mean, look at that engine. That's pretty awesome. But I mean, the interior looks great. It looks like they did a great job. It's just the camera position is not ideal. So, I mean, there's that. But I mean, overall, I mean, the mod's not bad. But that is how you install mods. And that is... Uh, I actually was just looking the other day. I was like, you know what? I might find a Honda NSX because I am a fan. This is actually one that I kind of customized. I like customizing some cars and saving those, and it's just kind of like some of my go-to cars. Honda NSX, I figure I'd just feature this because, I mean, we were talking about JDM cars. Why not? Uh, it is left-hand drive. I did put nitrous in it because why not? Um, I do think this is pretty cool. I mean, it's a pretty cool car. It... Uh, Accelerates just a little slow, but I mean overall it's pretty dang fast. And I don't know if you if you download this, I don't know if, if or if you already have this. I don't know if it has this uh, error, but the uh, exhaust is invisible. I mean it says that it's there, it shows that it's there, like in the node grabber. Or if I go into uh, into engine exhaust, like I hover over it and it, it it's like it's there, and I have it put in like that it should be there but it's just not showing up so i don't know probably just an error with the mod it really doesn't bother me that much so i mean it's not really a big deal uh but anyways hope you guys enjoyed today's video hopefully you found it helpful and um i'll see you in the next one see ya